Emotes. There are over 200 of them, and only a handful have the legendary border around them. This signifies that they're exclusive and can't be obtained ever again. But some are more rare than others, so today we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 rarest emotes in Clash Royale. Think of the first few ones I'll mention as honorable mentions, and as we get to number like 9 or 8, things begin to get more rare, until we reach number 1. Of course, this list is based on my opinion, so feel free to argue about it below. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Lunar Minor Emote. <laughs> This is one of the most expensive emotes, or so it was. See, this was included in a pack for $50 in February of 2019 for the Lunar New Year. You couldn't get it any other way, so you had to buy the pack. So for some time, this emote became a bit rare due to its heavy price tag. But the emote is an exclusive, so after some time, it eventually showed up in the shop available for 250 jumps. So although it was once rare, it's becoming more common today, and I thought it deserved the lowest spot on the list. It is also the only non-exclusive emote on this entire list. So from here and on, you literally can't get any of these. Season 1 Fish Now this emote isn't that rare as Season 1 was a fairly popular season so a lot of people played it and a lot of people got the emotes, but it was also a fairly long time ago now, and as you know, you can only get season emotes in that season, making it a little rare. You would have had to have been playing in mid-2019 in season 1, soon that'll be 3 years, like god. Still, I would barely call it rare, so I think the number 14 spot was pretty reasonable. Balloon Emote This emote was obtained by reaching 8 wins in the New Year's 2020 challenge. There's a lot of emotes that you could get from challenges, but the reason this one is lower on the list is because it was only 8 wins, and after Pass Royale, so... Well, basically that means that you could uh, try the challenge over and over as long as you had the pass. Still, not everyone buys Pass Royale and not everyone reached 8 wins. I don't even think I have it. So for that reason, this emote still holds a little bit of that exclusivity to it. King with Headphones Emote <laughs> This emote didn't exactly involve a challenge or money, but instead, you had to make a Fantasy Royale team. It was actually pretty simple, and I remember doing it. It was around December of 2019. But this emote is indeed an exclusive one, meaning you can't get it anymore. And so the only way to have gotten it was to participate in that specific event all the way back in December of 2019. That was your only chance. Healer throwing cake emote. I personally didn't play much of the game in 2021, so I had to search up what it was, and apparently it was obtained by playing in a YouTuber tournament during March of 2021. I think what makes it a little rare though is that you had to join a tournament hosted by a YouTuber, and not everyone did that obviously. Still, it is nowhere near as rare as some of the top ones on this list, so let's move on to the next one. Royal Giant Confetti Emote Again, another emote won by completing a challenge. This time though, it was 10 wins. This was for the 2020 birthday challenge, but still, post pass royale. The exact same thing as the balloon emotes, not everyone completed the challenge, and not everyone has pass royale. So its current spot on this list, I say, is a very fair one. Ice Wizard and Ice Spirit Emotes Not every emote you can purchase with real money is exclusive. I mean, it wouldn't be fair to have the rarest ones costing money, right? I mean, everyone who had money would have all the exclusive emotes. But every once in a while, we do see these exclusive emotes bundled in with another offer. That is the case with the Ice Wizard and Ice Spirit emotes, which is two of them. So, uh, 
Yeah. These emotes cost $10 and $20 in the shop respectively during December of 2018. Because they cost real money and are exclusive, it makes them that much more rare. Oh, and yeah, that was a pretty long time ago. If you don't have them, you don't have them. P.E.K.K.A. POPPING BALLOONS EMOTES so this P.E.K.K.A emote was released in March of 2020 and it was part of Clash Royale's 4th birthday. It was obtained by playing in a YouTuber tournament during this time. It is very similar to the Healer Cake emotes mentioned earlier, but this one is a bit more rare because it is older. For a very brief period 2 years ago, you could have gotten this emote and never again. Golden Coins Lunar New Year Hog this emote was obtainable as part of a Lunar New Year's challenge in February of 2019. This challenge had three stages you had to beat in order to obtain the emote. Although the challenge weren't all that difficult, but this was before the Pass Royale era, so you could only buy back into the challenge with gems. See, a lot of the challenge emotes mentioned earlier could be restarted for free with the pass. In this case of the Golden Coins emotes, the pass didn't exist like I said, so you had to pay gems to do the challenge. This makes the emotes even rarer than the ones previously. Rascal Cake Emotes this is easily the rarest of all birthday emotes. This emote was obtainable by being in a YouTuber tournament during March of 2019. But here's the thing, it was only available for 2 days, which makes it very limited compared to the 2020 and 2021 birthday emotes, which could be obtained throughout the entire month. Oh and also, it was 3 years ago. But yeah. Since special emotes didn't exist in early 2018, this makes it the last birthday emote on the list, and also the rarest. Goblin Kissing Trophy Emotes This emote was obtained by anyone who linked their Supercell account and watched the CRL 2018 World Finals. Yeah, although this emote was easy to obtain, it's one of the oldest exclusive emotes and was available for a very limited time making it high on the list. Other than that though, I mean, I don't have much to say about it. Let me know down below if you have this emote. Ram Chewing Grass Emote This emote was obtained by beating the Ram Rider Challenge in December of 2018. What makes this emote rare is that you had to get 15 wins to beat the challenge. And it was before Pass Riel. Whoa. Beating the challenge was certainly not easy, and buying back in every time you lost was 100 gems. I believe I don't have this emote, but I do remember giving the challenge a shot, and I think I spent anywhere from 10 to $20 trying over and over. Eventually, I finally took the L, and I never got the emotes. King Cleaning the Trophy Emotes <laughs> This emote can be obtained by reaching the top 100 in any global tournament. Yeah, reaching top 100 in a global tournament is incredibly difficult unless you have the skills to do it. And this emote is undeniably a top 3 emote. On top of that, a lot of people who manage to get top 100 are usually the same people. So you may think that 100 or 200 people get this every month. No. Of course, this changes over time, more and more people get it, but you get what I'm saying, right? However, this emote is technically always obtainable and is awarded to 200 accounts per season dating back to January 2021 and 100 accounts per season from January 2020 to December 2020. Royal Ghost with Gem Emote <laughs> This emote was awarded to anyone who had earned Legend Trophies under the old League system when the game came out. Legend Trophies were earned by ending the season above Legendary Arena, and the number of trophies you were above Legendary Arena were converted to Legend Trophies. As a reminder, Legend Trophies were taken out of the game in March of 2017. So in order to obtain this emote, you pretty much had to be playing since release. And be good to reach Legendary Arena years ago. The progression back then was so different, it was way slower, so there was no guarantee you could ever reach Legendary Arena. Even if you had played since day one, many people didn't make it there. So for that reason, this is why it's so high on the list. 
CRL 20 win goblin emote. <laughs> the rarest emote on my list today is this one. This emote was awarded to players who beat the 20 win challenge in 2019. Now, in case you've never tried a 20 win challenge, beating a 20 win challenge is no easy task. In fact, it's very hard to do. I would say it's one of the hardest things to do in the game. Should I also mention there was no pass for real? <laughs> also, this emote was only available to players who beat the challenge in a one week time frame back in 2019. So you only had one week to beat the challenge. I'm sure some of you people might place this emote lower on the list and some higher, but after all, this list is just my opinion. And uh, yeah, I really want to know what you guys think about my list here. I had a lot of fun making this video. It's definitely a little change in pace. I usually don't do videos this small, but yeah. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.